For this exercise, we'll be working with the customers collection that we created in an earlier section. The focus will be on how to query embedded documents that make up an array field. To begin, go to the connection tree and right-click the Sales Database node to open IntelliShell. Studio 3T opens its own IntelliShell tab in the main window. On the IntelliShell toolbar, you'll see that both the auto-completion button with the lightning bolt icon and the query assist button are already enabled by default. Just make sure that both buttons are enabled. These will make it easier to view the results returned by the Mongo shell commands. Now, at the command prompt in the IntelliShell editor, replace any existing code with the following insert many statement. The insert many statement adds three simple documents to the customer's collection. All three documents include the travel field, an array made up of embedded documents, each embedded document lists a country that the customer has visited, along with the number of times the customer visited, and how the customer rated the country, based on a scale of 1 through 10. So our first aim is going to try to find those customers who have visited Australia three times. We'll do so by replacing the existing code with this new find statement in the command prompt. This statement searches the travel array to find documents with a country value that equals Australia and has a visit value of 3. Execute this statement by clicking the Run Entire Script button. Studio 3T displays the results in the bottom window. But in this case, the query doesn't return any results. And the reason for this is that the search engine is looking for an exact match. Our query just specifies the country and visits elements, but not the rating element. So an exact match isn't possible. To fix this, we'll need to replace the statement with a new one in the command prompt. The new statement is just like the preceding one, except it now includes the rating element as a search condition. Again, click the Run Entire Script button. Now the query returns the Gladys document. If not already selected, choose the Table view. Although this approach works fine when you know the exact combination of fields and values, this is not always the case. For example, the collection might include other customers who have visited Australia three times but have provided a different rating, in which case they would not be included in the results. Another limitation with this approach is that you must specify the document elements in the exact order that they're saved to the database or they'd not be considered an exact match. To test this out, and replace the existing code with the following fine statement. This time, the elements are in a different order than they were in the last statement. When you click Run, as expected, the statement returns no documents because the element order is not an exact match. We'll now need to recast the find statement to find customers who have visited Australia so that each search condition uses dot notation to specify the array and its elements. To do so, we'll replace the existing code with the following find statement. Now, each of the search conditions in this statement include the array field name travel followed by the specific element country and visits respectively. And when you use dot notation, you must enclose the fully qualified name in quotes. And for this statement, the visits value has been changed to two from the previous three that we used earlier. Run the entire script, and this time the statement returns the Gladys document, even though she visited Australia three times, not two. In this case, the query engine returns any documents that include a country value of Australia and a visits value of 2, even if they're in different embedded documents. To fine-tune this even further, we'll now replace the find statement in the command prompt with this new one. This statement uses the same logic as the preceding one, only this time the country value is Canada and the visits value is 3. Click Run, and now the statement returns all three documents. Maria is the only customer to have visited Canada three times. The problem is all three documents include Canada as a country value and all three include three as a visits value, even though they might not be in the same embedded document. To get the results we want, we'll need to use the $LM match operator. And in this instance, we'll replace the existing code with this newest find statement. Because this statement uses the $LM match operator, the query engine will return only those documents in which at least one embedded document in the travel array matches the specified search criteria. Run the entire script. As we see, the statement returns only the Maria document 
because it's the only one whose travel array includes an embedded document with a country value of Canada and a visits value of 3. And let's test again with yet another variation by replacing the existing code with this modified find statement. Just like the previous statement, this one also uses the $LM match operator. Only this time, it's looking for customers who have visited Thailand two times and who have assigned a rating of 9 to the country. Let's run the entire script, and this time, the statement returns the Maria and Gladys documents because they're the only ones to meet the search criteria. You can see this most clearly in table view. Although the Chen document includes all these values, they are not within the same embedded document, so the document isn't returned. And just a note, you can also achieve the same results without using the $LM match operator by using this find statement. This approach only works if we specify the elements in the exact order as they're stored within the database, and we've matched the specified elements exactly. Otherwise, the query engine will not return those documents. Click Run Entire Script. But with using the $LM match operator, it ensures that we can retrieve the documents we want regardless of the number of fields or their order. Leave IntelliShell open for the next exercise.